London Eco Metal Roof Manufacturing presents a video guide on how to install your brand new eco tile roof. Before beginning your installation, make sure to check the building codes and safety bylaws in your area. It is also important to utilize all necessary safety gear throughout the installation process. First, we begin by installing the membrane. This membrane can be installed directly on plywood as shown in the video, or can be laid over top of existing asphalt shingles. This membrane is porous from only the bottom side, allowing air to escape while preventing moisture from seeping in. Therefore, it is very important to make sure that you have the correct side facing up. When cutting around the membrane, please remember to use caution, as puncturing the membrane will reduce its effectiveness in stopping moisture. This following segment will show you how to install the eco tile using the no-strapping method. For complete instructions and a better understanding of installation procedures, we greatly recommend watching all three installation methods so that you can choose the one that suits you the best. First, you must measure 16 centimeters from the edge of the fascia. A chalk line should be made to ensure accuracy. Next, we should locate all the rafters that run vertically along the roof. These can be found by simply lifting the membrane at the edge and finding the existing roofing nails. Now comes time to lay down the starting row of strapping. Even in the no strapping installation method, one horizontal board is required to begin the process. After lining up the top of the board with a line, it can be secured into place by nailing it down to the rafters which we marked earlier. Excess board can be trimmed off. Once again, it is important to be cautious as to not puncture the membrane. In this case, we recommend sawing only partially through the wood and then simply breaking it off. Starter can now be attached to the first row of strapping. Excess starter that is hanging over the edge of the roof can be removed. It is important, however, to leave an additional 2 centimeters of overhang before cutting off the excess. In other areas of the roof, the starter must be cut and shaped in a way which allows for overlap from adjacent starters. Next, we place the valleys. Using a framing square, we must mark lines based on the already existing axis of the starter. Following this, we must mark an additional line, 2 centimeters parallel to the previous line. This is the line which we follow when trimming off the overhang. After making a small cut in the center of the valley, a bending tool may be used to bend the remaining overhang into shape, allowing for a snug fit when finally securing the valley over the starter. Optionally, the trim from the valley may be bent into shape like so, and added to the installation for additional strength. After fitting the valley, secure it into place. The folds on either side may be trimmed like so. After securing the valley into place, expandable foam tape must be attached along each side. The expanding nature of this foam will create a seal between the valley and the roofing tiles once they are installed. At this point, marks can be made. Measuring from the center, mark 5 cm lengths at each end of the valley. Connect these marks with a chalk line. Remember, use only blue or white chalk when making chalk lines on the roofing material. Other colors, such as red, tend to leave permanent marks. In preparation to install the fascia board, we must draw a straight line 4.5 cm in from the edge of the board. This will allow precise positioning when installing the fascia board. When installing the fascia, the 4.5 cm that we had marked earlier should be below the edge of the roof. Next comes the gable trim. To achieve better water runoff and more accurate eco tile positioning, trim a sliver off the bottom of the gable trim as shown in the video.
we are now ready to install the eco tiles. Starting at the edge of the roof and working our way towards the valley, we position the eco tile to be right against the starter. The first row should be fastened by the center frontmost part of each indentation of the eco tile. Doing so will ensure strong installation, which will prevent uplift from strong winds. When installing the following rows, offset the eco tile position to create a diagonal overlap of tiles as you work towards the peak of the roof. Each row following the first should be attached first by connecting the two tiles at the overlap and then at the center backmost part of every second indentation to secure the eco tile to the roof. As you reach the valley of the roof, you may have to cut the tiles to fit. In this situation, you would measure the distance from the valley chalk line created earlier to the edge of the nearest tile in that row. This measurement must be made from both the top and the bottom of the tile. Remember to always add 2 inches to account for the overlap of the tiles. Next, we must find the pitch of the roof to complete the installation of the outside gable. To find the pitch of your roof, place a carpenter's triangle on the fascia as shown in the video. Next, we must make a mark on the center fold of the outside gable, 10 centimeters from the bottom end. We must also create another mark at this length on the fold found on the thinner side of the outside gable. Now, align the square with the first mark we drew on the wider side of the outside gable. After positioning the square with the pitch measurement we got from before, draw a diagonal line along the edge of the square. We can now use metal snips to cut along this line. Following the second mark we made, we simply need to cut a V-shape with the point of the V landing on the mark. The end can now be bent inwards and held into place using one of the roofing screws. For ease of installation, the other screws can be pre-drilled along the center of the outside gable. Keeping the gable flush with the starter, we can secure it into place. And there you have it, you've just installed your very own EcoTile roof. Stay tuned to see the other installation methods.